Hi friends, so in this new video I will talk about uh, the method used to compile between HPCs and CST in MATLAB, okay? So this method used to compile between HPCs and CST results in MATLAB. Uh, the last videos, I, in the last videos I talk about comparison in origin, but in this video I will talk about the method comparison in MATLAB. Okay, I compile between uh, two results or more than two results in the same figure. Okay, so this method is used not for MATLAB, but I can use it for uh, any software, and I can compile between two software and more than two software. Okay, for example, three, four, five, six, seven. I have uh, how many software do you have? You can compile between them in the same folder. Okay, so in this example, I will show you how you can compile between return loss uh, in HPCs and CST. And you, if you understand the method, uh, you can use it for any software and uh, for any results. Okay, so I go to HPCs. I have this structure, this array antenna. Okay. I have this array antenna, so I have my return loss here, results in the results. This is my return loss, okay, S11 in decibel versus frequency, okay. So, in CST, I have the same, okay, I have the same structure. In CST, I have the same structure, okay, so this is my structure, and I have my S parameter S11. Okay, is parameter in decibel versus frequency. Okay, so the first thing I do, I go to HPCs results and I go to save my file and the txt format. Okay, so click right, export, go to browse, and choose here in type shows post processor format files. Txt, okay, txt. So I will to, to save my results in uh, in MATLAB in documents, and I go to MATLAB and I save uh, them here. Okay. So for example, here I will I rename my file as S11 HPCs. Okay, HPCs. Okay. Post processor format files txt. Be careful here. Be careful here. Save it. Okay. So I go to CST results. Okay. Here I have my S11 and I go also to save these results in TXT format. So I go to post processing here and I go to import export and choose plot data ASCII. Okay. So it's the same. I go to my documents and MATLAB and I uh, save my format and the ASCII files txt format okay so name it as s11 s11 cst okay so now i got to check my files i go to documents i go to matlab okay so here i am i am in documents matlab this is my my file self so the first s11 for cst open it open it so here i have two columns the first column is for frequencies x axis and the second column is for s11 in this is to y axis okay so the first thing i do i delete this part okay i delete this part i list just numbers of first column and the second column, okay. So there is any letter, just numbers there and save it, okay. So the same for HFCs file. So I have two columns one for frequencies, this is the x axis for frequencies, and the second axis is for S11 in this event. So also I go to delete all this and I save my file okay save it okay so now what i do i go to matlab 
and I create new script okay create new script so here what I do the first thing I will load I will call my files into to my into my script so yeah, I go to load my file with load command okay load and I load my file csd and rgpc files so load s11 ash fss pound txt okay don't forget to write the format of your file txt semicolon and i load the second file load s11 csd pound txt okay so now i load my files what i do now i will define my x axis and y axis for each file okay for each file s11 hpcs and s11 in csd so i will write x equal s11 hpcs open parentheses colon comma one class of parentheses okay so here what i do i see that all lines and first column so x axis is all lines and the first column okay so in my file archivesis i define the first axis is the first line and all and the first column and the all lines okay all lines and the first column for x axis so y axis y equal s11 ash faces open parentheses column comma two and close your parentheses comma so here i see that the y axis is all lines and for the second columns okay so here for the first columns i have all lines and here for second columns i have all lines okay so this for the first file or archivesis so for uh, cst is the same method i have x axis and y axis for that i will rename this x axis i will write x0 y0 okay and for cst i will write x1 equal s11 cst and i declare all lines and the first column okay semicolons and y1 equal s11 cst and first column okay all so not for column so the all lines and the second column okay so the second column for all lines so i finish for a greek axis for cst file okay so here i define x axis and y axis for each file okay so now i go to plot my results and do sign fusion so for that i will to declare the command hold on, on so this command is used to compile a lot of curves in the same fusion okay so here plot open parentheses and x zero degree zero okay so here y zero in function of x zero y axis in function of x axis okay so comma and i choose a color for my curve for example blue color okay it's the same for x axis y axis and cst plot x1 comma y1 comma and i choose a color for example a red color okay now i give a legend for my curves okay legend open parentheses and the first curve is for archivesis okay so i will write archivesis and the second curve is for 
Sing it together is for C is day. Okay, C is day. So I finish for legend and I gave legend for X liable, X axis and Y axis. Okay, X liable. For X liable, I have frequencies. Okay, frequency and gigahertz. And Y axis, Y liable. Reliable, I have S11 and this event. Okay, so I finished my file, just I have so I finish my file. Okay, my script, so save it. I save it in MATLAB, documents MATLAB, okay, for example, S11 comparison, okay, comparison, and save it, so now, plot your results, so as you say, I have archivists and CST results, in decibel, return loss, and function of frequency. Okay, so this method is used to return loss, to be SWL, to gain, to directivity, to efficiency, to group delay, to accelerate you, any parameter that you have. You can use it between archivists and CST, or archivists and FICO, or FICO and ADS, or ADS and CST. Okay, so any software. Uh, you can use this method to compile between uh, their results, okay? So if you have any question or any remarks, you can contact me in my in my account uh, Facebook or in by comments in my channel YouTube, okay? So see you later in other video.